Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Foodish Beauty, it's TJ here. It's the beginning of May, that means I am a few days late for my April favourites. I'm afraid there's not going to be a food favourites for April because I've not been able to really try out that many new food items nor have I been able to eat out that often. So sorry for my foodie friends but beauty and accessory wise it's a different story. Quite a lot of things I've been loving this month. So without further delay let's take a look at these pretty things. As per usual starting with complexion I have been loving a brand new BB cream this month and it is from Etchied House. It's their Precious Mineral BB Cream Bright Fit. This BB cream has SPF 30 so it's really great for this time of the year when the sun gets a little bit more fierce. It does have a very great brightening effect. You guys know how much I love mixing my foundation and highlighter for a brightening glowy finish but with this I don't have to mix it with anything else, just two pumps of this with a drop of face oil. It blends out like a dream and it has light to medium coverage, really gives my skin that brightening effect. It is in fact what I'm wearing right now for my base makeup, so you guys can take a look. Nothing else for my base makeup and it just, I absolutely adore the effect it has. And my next item is also a base makeup item and it is from L'Oreal, it's their illuminating powder in the shade 01 Rose Bordeaux. It claims to illuminate, mattify, as well as highlight, gives you a healthy glow. My embossing has completely rubbed off, but when you first get this product, you will have an inner ring that is slightly rosy and pink, and a middle ring that is pastel pink, and then you have an outer ring that is completely beige. And I guess these three different colours just really give you a great highlighted, illuminated effect, but also it mattifies at the same time because of that beige base. Again, I'm wearing this right now on my face, so you can see it's not giving me a very mat matted out look, but just gives me that slight glow where it needs it, and slight mattifying effect where it needs it also. So yes, I can say this is complete magic, you will love it, I love it. Up next I have a relatively new product from Revlon and this is their highlighting palette in the shade 020 Rose Glow. I use this as my blush rather than highlight and I absolutely adore it. This is what I have on right now for blush on my cheeks. <laughs> I should have just really had a, an April favourite tutorial. It seems every favourite of mine is sitting on my face right now and that's how much I love these products. I I got this at the beginning of the month and I have been using this non-stop, literally every single day. It gives me the best kind of just peachy coral glow but also really highlights as well so it's like a blush and highlight two in one. If you're fair skinned like me then absolutely it will pass off as a blush but if you are tanned I think it will really work beautifully as a highlight too. Now onto eyeshadows, I have another palette for you guys this month and it's from L'Oreal, it's their The Colour Rouge Palette Nude in the shade 01 Rose. These are just so gorgeous. You have your pinks, you have your peach colours and then you have your smoke out purple grey colours at the end. Just such a versatile palette for this time of year when it's so easy to create those romantic girly looks for spring and summer. I am particularly impressed with the four matte shades in this palette as well. They're very buttery, very pigmented, not at all chalky. So very, very brilliant palette. Lip product wise, I have been loving this tinted lip balm from Pixie. You might have seen this in one of my haul videos earlier on in the month and it is so good. Just look at this shade. It's a beautiful, beautiful taupe brown pink nude. So very gorgeous, very Kylie Jenner-esque, but what I love about it is how pigmented it is. Even though it's a tinted lip balm, it doesn't slip or slide like lip balms and it's very, very pigmented. It leaves a lovely stain after a few hours. Reapplying is not a problem because it's so nourishing and so moisturising and the ingredients in here is very beautiful like shea butter and vitamin E, so enriching for your lips. My next favourite lipstick of the month is from NYX and it's their butter lipstick in the shade Little Susie. 
this is so gorgeous it is a roasted peach shade i think roasted coral shade that's the best way i could describe it it just is so pretty it's not too orange it's not too blue not too warm toned and definitely not too cool toned it just sits somewhere in the middle and very very flattering for all skin tone for the spring summer season and of course being a butter lipstick it's very nourishing very moisturizing i have been wearing this um every time when i want to just go for a slightly girl sort of more sort of no makeup makeup look this is absolutely perfect now I'm sure if you're a regular viewer of my videos then you will probably have noticed my nail varnish addiction and this month I have been loving Essie's nail varnish in the shade hubby for dessert it is what I'm wearing on my nails right now a very understated and sophisticated lilac shade it's not a in-your-face shout out loud pastel lilac it's a very dreamy very subtle ceramic lilac off-white color it's not very opaque so to achieve this look i had to apply three coats but it was totally worth the effort it's from their 2015 spring bridal collection and i can totally see how this would be a perfect bridal wedding manicure color it's very classy very beautiful on to accessories then. The first item I have been loving this month is this necklace from Michael Kors. You probably have seen this from my spring fashion outfit of the day video and I just really want to bring it to your attention again because I haven't been able to stop wearing it this whole month. It is so beautiful. Mr. Food of Beauty Mike got me this necklace for my birthday and I haven't actually worn it since um, February but I dug it out lately and I've just been so in love with it it's very simple but very classy and with my addiction with rose gold jewelry this is definitely a keeper it's just so pretty really really great for all of the spring summery little tops I would wear and last but not least, I have these shades that were featured also in my spring outfit of the day video. These are from Topshop and I absolutely adore these shades. Very great for spring, summer again. They have the lovely warm brown shades in the middle and they have very great sort of rose gold details and I adore the absolute pink nude frames they have alongside the rose gold details again on the side just so so lovely and the best thing i love about these shades is the fact that they sit on my humongous head that doesn't usually accommodate sunglasses up there so yes i adore these shades so that was my April favourites beauty and accessories edition. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more food, beauty, fashion and travel videos. Thank you ever so much for always coming back to my channel and supporting all of my videos too. I really, really appreciate that. I have some really exciting videos coming up on this channel hopefully in the not too distant future. So keep tuned and hopefully you'll enjoy them as much as I enjoyed making them. Thank you ever so much again for watching. Take care guys and I'll see you next time. Bye. Number five, I have a dog that looks like a puppy. Number six, my dog is seven years old.